Hola, buenos días, es Nico. So you got a problem with something? No, you're the one who's looking at me and you're the one who's saying oh, no, so you was just in my face, so I was just wondering. So today, you know, I promised here to, um, <laughs> I promised you guys to come and make a video about, you know, the qualifications of being a freak. And you know what? I'm gonna make that. I, don't, I haven't decided if it's gonna be on Patreon or on my main channel, because you know, I like the, to keep the juicy shit on Patreon. But, um, <laughs> essentially, <laughs> I'm sorry. Also, I'm gonna try not to laugh because I got at least two people telling me, oh, that laugh, you need to space out your laughs. You always laugh and bitch, I like to laugh. It's a nervous coping mechanism. What can I say? I laugh when I'm nervous. I laugh all the time. So um, <laughs> I'm gonna be laughing because that's just me. I'm not about to come on here and defend me as a person, bitch. You here for the content, you gonna get the content with this chuckle. So <laughs> we're here to talk about, <laughs> but this is gonna be my final, I can't promise that. This is gonna. Be, this is my intended, intended final video on Grandy. So the thing is, I can't promise that I won't make a video on him in the future because if it's T, I like to talk about it. But basically, he made a video reacting to my video, and you know what? It's cool. It's cool because he was actually kind of respectful. Aside from the first comments of irrelevant gossip vlogger. I guess I am a gossip vlogger. <laughs> That's the thing though, it's like, I never considered myself a gossip vlogger until I realized I'm just spilling all day tea that, I mean, but the thing is, it's already on the internet. So it's not like I'm doing like excessive research, you know? It's just like, it's on my timeline. I'll just put it in a video, that kind of thing. <laughs> so, so basically he went, you know, irrelevant gossip vlogger, um, but he cleaned it up by going, wow, this dude should be doing OnlyFans. He called me pretty. Gay Bader called me, but, <laughs> But that's the thing. So I'm a, I'm basically gonna go into detail about the video just so that you guys don't have to watch it because it's like 21 minutes and I kind of feel like I wasted 21 minutes of my time. That's not a shot. It's just that he's reacting to my video. So it's not necessarily a lot of commentary other than him like interjecting at a few points. But in short, he said I need to back off of Malik. He said it playfully, but at the same time, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, he also said Malik didn't pay him to do gay shit. He agreed to do it freely and wanted to collaborate with him on his own accord. I personally wouldn't have admitted that. <laughs> I per like that's my thing. I personally would have I would have kept I, like I said I would have been like that one dude Lamont whatever. I would have just been like nah he paid me that kind of thing. But no, he was honest. He was like I agreed to do all that shit. I did all that shit. I did it. You remember when I said the guy was sucking on his toes while he was masturbating and he also slightly touched the guy's dick. He was like, but I touched it with my feet. That's still gay, you know? But this video should be short and simple. I'm just gonna recap essentially what he said. Other than that, that's all he really said other than when he originally clapped back, you know how he went on the quote unquote homophobic, you know, rant on Instagram saying he would never fuck a man, etc. He did it because somebody came for his family. Like somebody came for one of his loved ones that he had posted and he, they were talking mad shit. And you know what? I understand that. But like I say, when I used to defend Cardi B because she gets unwarranted hate sometimes, but when I used to defend her, cause you know, I like to see Dominican people winning. When I used to defend her, I would always say, well, she was provoked. You know what I mean? So if somebody provokes you, you have the right to reply with however you want, but this is where I always say people can talk about her, do whatever, like drag her, etc. Because you can say what you want in retort to somebody provoking you, but that does not absolve you from what you said. Meaning, you have the right to reply, but you also have to be held to the consequences of what you say back. If you had just done this privately, since you said this was against one person, that would have been another thing. If somebody chose to expose you after that, that's on them. But you went to your public platform on Instagram to publicly say these things like, oh, I would never fuck a man and y'all out of y'all minds and y'all forget y'all pay me for that shit. When you're replying to quote unquote one person and or your haters, you should reply to them in private if they provoked you in private or else we're just gonna be able to hold you accountable. That kind of thing. So it's like, I'm not making no excuses for him. It's just like my, th my thought process like with Cardi B. You have the right to reply to what people say about you, but you also have to be held accountable with what you said. 
Like that's my thing. Like I'm very, I'm a, a very understanding person. You know, I look at it from both sides. Like obviously, if somebody's talking disrespectfully to you and your loved ones, you have the right to reply. It's just you will be held accountable with what you said. Just because somebody provoked you doesn't mean that absolves you from any, any inflammatory language that you use. So, other than that, there wasn't much to the video. You know, <laughs> like that's it's like I said, this is gonna be short and sweet. I was just recapping what I said, but basically. He said that he wasn't gay baiting. He was just pushing the envelope. But you know what? I'm gonna, you know, he was respectful. So I'm gonna be respectful. That's gay baiting. <laughs> pushing the envelope, but insisting that you are heterosexual and that you will never do anything gay, even though you have already done gay man for man content, you know, man on man content. That's gay baiting. Like you saying, oh, I'll do this. I'll let you nut on me. I'll massage your dick with my foot. You can suck on my toes. You can oil up my booty and jiggle it around, eat icing off my ass, but I won't fuck you because I'm straight. That's gay baiting. You're doing the absolute most to appeal to the gay gays, but you're not actually following through with it. You're just siphoning money out of the community. And obviously he also had an issue with me saying he was siphoning money, but you have to realize that there are other gay content creators that could be getting this money, but but, 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 I'm also gonna interject this because I always say it on my timeline, so I'm not just gonna, you know, let him out to dry in this scenario. Gay for pay would not exist if the LGBT community stopped supporting him. So I can't really say that he rightfully siphoned money out because obviously this money could be going to another gay content creator, but this man would not be getting your money if you were not giving it to him. I understand that he is straddling the line. I understand that he's hyping up his bi curiosity. But at this point, we know that he is a heterosexual man. If you are still giving him your money, I am not holding him liable because you are willingly giving this man your money when he has blatantly said that he is just gay baiting. Like it's, it's at that point. So it's like, I've made my videos on him. I've already discussed the topic. I really don't want to have to make a third to fourth video on this just because it's like, it's not that important. I mean, the video's got views, so I'm not upset about it. It's just more of a, I've discussed this and now I'm just going in circles discussing this. So in short, he is indeed gay baiting by quote unquote pushing the envelope. He admitted to doing all of these things on camera and understands why people would, curi would be curious about his sexuality. Um, Malik did not pay him. He willingly let this man eat icing off his ass and nut on him. And, um, I think that's it. Other than that, he called me pretty. Nico, you're biased because he called you pretty. Bitch, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm, I'm just being honest. Like, this man would not be able to gay bait if people were not still giving him money. So it's like, I hold, like, like, I hold him accountable. I hold him accountable for what he said. I still stand by what I said in that video. But when it comes to gay baiting, quote unquote, pushing the envelope, I'm not siphoning money he would not be getting money if y'all weren't paying him. So I hold everybody accountable when it comes to gay baiting, the straights that do it and the gay people that actually pay them. So yeah, that's the video. If y'all wanna watch that 21 minute video, it's not, real, like I said, it's, I, I condensed it into like a seven to eight minute video for you. It's not really that, you know, he didn't really do anything other than react. But yeah, that's about it. Thank you for calling me pretty. I'm still not making an OnlyFans. If you like this kind of content, follow me on Patreon at patreon.com slash Aesthetics. If you like video games, follow me at twitch.com slash, no, switch, ah, twitch.tv slash Aesthetics. If you like thirst traps, Instagram at Aesthetics, Twitter at Aesthetics. If you like violence, sorry, <laughs> somebody messaged me. Um, Nikos Aesthetic, that's my alt. But yeah, that's it. I hope everybody has a good day. And yes, my skin is glowing again. And we love to see it, baby. And once again, a quick thank you to all my patrons on Patreon and a quick shout out to my third eye tier patrons. Your support means everything to me and helps me do this a lot more smoothly. I will also be listing this week's live stream topic in case anybody wants to join in on the fun. I'll see you guys there.